Today I have a new video for you. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be calling it Heather's Hacks. So essentially what that means is whenever I find a beauty tip or even a lifestyle tip that I've either come up with or something that I realize I've used for in my entire life that maybe not everybody knows about, I'm going to be doing a short and small video on it. I thought that this might be helpful because I know that a lot of people have these kind of hacks or even tips that people do daily and just don't share with one another. I think that there are are so many little tips and hacks out there that people just do daily that a lot of people don't know about and I think it's helpful to share especially just because you might think that everybody does it but really in theory a lot of people don't even know these little tiny hacks. So the first one I'm going to be sharing with you is actually how I mix my foundation. So if I'm going to be mixing maybe like a matte foundation and I want to add a little bit of a luminescence to it or if I'm mixing two different shades together or if I want to sheer out a foundation and I'm mixing it with a little bit of moisturizer normally Normally people use a mixing palette like this. If you're a makeup artist, usually you have something like this. But this isn't always accessible to the average person and not everybody will have a little tiny mirror or a plate that you can mix your foundations on. And you can mix not just only foundations if you're mixing lip colors together or if you're just mixing anything. You can use something like this and just mix it together. I do like ones that are really flat like this or ones that don't have any lips that product can settle or pull in because I feel like either A, that's a waste of product or B, you can never get it fully clean and you want to make sure that you are getting it fully clean so you're not building bacteria or just building nasty stuff on your plate. I got this one at iMats recently, but before I went to iMats, I used small dishes that you can actually just use in your kitchen. These are considered, I think, like sauce containers or like little soy sauce containers. I got these at Daiso. I like them because they are ceramic, but they're glazed so the product won't seep into the ceramic. And also because although that they do have these little lips, the products, if they're runny, they're not going to fly out of the containers as well as the lips can be fully cleaned they're not ones that are rounded or a little bit too hard to get into I really like these I got them at Daiso as I said so you can get them for two dollars but really anything in your kitchen that you have something like this if you have like a little dish or a little like Tupperware container or anything like that it might work really well for this I also found this one at Daiso this one is quite large in comparison to the little plate that I have as well but I thought that this might be really nice if you're going to mix several different products and you don't want them to run into each other so you could put like one you could put like six different products you can mix your foundations together you could mix some aluminizer with your foundation or if you want to just mix anything it might be really nice to have this one does have a lip around the edge that product could pull in but because it's on the edge I thought it might be okay you just have to make sure that you're cleaning the product well rather than making the product go into these little lips I do usually mix my foundations if it's going to be mixing a color or mixing it with moisturizer or even mixing it with a luminizer just because I don't like wearing a full coverage foundation daily and I do like more of a luminosity to my skin because I do have dry skin but I think that these are really nice to have whether just to place products rather than making the back of your hand dirty you can put the product in here and I always feel like when I put foundation on the back of my hand it can seep into my hand and I feel like I'm wasting product I don't know if that's really the case but it's like all in my head and that's what I thought so if you have little small containers make use of them you don't need one of these plates that a lot of makeup artists use. You can save your money and use something that you already have. I hope you all enjoy this new feature on my channel on what I'm calling Heather Hacks. If you have any hack recommendations, definitely let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you can see all my upcoming tip and hack videos. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.